Hey, welcome back to Beer Geek Beer Reviews. And this evening, um, I'm going to be doing, boom, some hop juju. And I don't happen to have a Fathead's glass, so I'm going to use um, my new Bell's Hop Slam glass. Um, I thought it was appropriate. Um, maybe not because of the company, but because of the fact that it's a DIPA. And I've had this one before when it was released. Uh, I'm pretty sure um, this was last year, about the same round, around about the same time. Um, but I didn't make a review. So here we go. Let's pour this into said glass. We're a little rough on the pour, but we're steady getting it. There we go. Now this beer, if anybody has not had it, comes in at a nice 9% alcohol by volume and 100 IBUs. <sighs> now as for the way that this appears, nice, clear, very clear, um, um, filtered. I want to call this like a golden amber color. Um, only because of the fact that, you know, with the light, it almost looks like straight orange. Um, but as I take it off, man, it, it, it's still very orange, but uh, I, I'm calling it a golden amber color. Head, very fluffy. And just packed. And I'm talking seriously packed, full of hops. It's very citrusy. Mm little slight pine very resinous it's almost like a plenthora of hops okay let's go ahead and get into this man shall we gross definitely big grapefruit mango papaya just those typical double IPA uh, flavors. Um, as as it goes over your palate and then finishes off, then you you tend to get a little bit of that malt backbone. Um, overall, like I said, I've had this once before. I I enjoy it. It's nice. It's refreshing. Um, you don't get any of the ABV from it. It is a dangerous beer. So, um, when drinking it, do use discretion, do use precaution, because uh, at a 9% beer, it, it's definitely a sipper. Enjoy it. Don't, don't, don't just sit there and just gulp it down as quick as possible. The repercussions will, will catch up to you. But with that said, man, I'm going to keep this real short. Um, and as always... If you see fat heads out there, they do no wrong. I've never, ever had a bad beer from fat heads, man. We, we here in Ohio have definitely got um, some of the great craft beer companies um, in and around in this neck of the woods, especially for people that um, out west, you might not get some of these beers. I know that they do have a, um, a brewery out that way now, but uh, I don't know... Um, how far it distributes but uh if you guys see these beers definitely give them a try man some of these uh fathead brews are some of the best that i've had um fatheads great lakes you know thirsty dog hopping frog um just to mention a few um jackie o's uh, some of the best beers in and around ohio man come on check them out definitely check out hop juju one of the best, man. And as always, peace, pros, deuce. Remember, don't drink and drive, don't text and drive because you know damn well you're going to be paying out more out of your pocket than you did for these beers, man. Remember, drink great, amazing craft beers. Peace.